Hiya, it's Linda Lee. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently working on Christmas in July. I'm working on a swap that is um, supposed to be three decorated envelopes um, for Christmas. And I have one swap partner, so I need to do three envelopes. And I was um, originally going to uh, just alter these three craft envelopes. Um, it's actually supposed to be uh, a little non-traditional and vintage. So um, that's why I grabbed these craft envelopes, but I did um, have this pad of paper out and it's really pretty and I thought, well, this would be really cool to be like non-traditional. And I cut the paper down because I'm going to actually make my envelopes using my memory keeper or punch board. However, um, well not however, I'm just, when I got this paper cut down, I looked at the back of it and that is gorgeous. So I think I'm actually going to work with the darker color, especially since it's supposed to be more vintage. Um, I did already cut down and make an envelope out of one piece that was like this one. Um, this is a little bit bigger than what I, I truly wanted so that these two envelopes are going to be a little smaller. They're going to be like five by eights. And, um, but I'm going to decorate these. Now I don't really have a lot of Christmas. I probably do if I dug it out, um, but I didn't really want it to do that. So I do have a couple few things. I have some clip art that I actually pulled up and I was gonna fussy cut it, but I ended up just kind of tearing and then um, distressing around the edges. So I have these images to play with and as well as some, um, you know, some holiday ribbon. I do have some ribbon um, that I didn't have packed up and also some regular lace and cheesecloth. So I just need to kind of put some stuff together for this swap that I want to mail out. Um, I think I have to mail it out by Wednesday. Um, and today is Sunday. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to first do is uh, fold the two envelopes. So these are some of the, the clip art. I already have, this is a second page of these images. I just wanted to show you how I printed them out. And then I just kind of tore them out of the paper and then um, did the distressing afterwards. I used my walnut stain distre to distress. So Tim Holtz, the ranger. That's what I use to do the distressing on it. And I think it's gonna look kind of cool with the browns. Um, I am gonna bring in, you know, the pinks and some peach or maybe some green. I really don't know yet. I love the colors, so the muted palette. Aren't they pretty? So let's go ahead and do the envelopes. So I already cut this paper down. Um, I cut it down to, i move this over here for a minute. Um, I think I did this, this is 11 by 11 and four and one quarter is my um, measurement to work with on here. So, um, Let's see, I think I want this part to be my folded down piece. So I have a um, video on how to use this envelope punch board. Um, it's not difficult, but a lot of people have problems when they're not working with a true square piece of paper. So with that in mind, um, you want to make sure that you're working with a square piece. Let me just get these two other creases in here. I'm not sure why I didn't show you the way it should be done. I kind of just did my little renegade, do it my way type of thing. With the punch board, what it does is it gives me 
um, these little cuts. I think you can see it on top of this paper. Um, and then I have my creases so I know exactly where to fold. And this little bone folder comes with it. So you can get a nice, nice um, sharp crease. But this is more the envelope size that I truly wanted. So the other one's much bigger. Here, look. Look at that size difference. <laughs> like an inch bigger this way and a half inch bigger this way but oh and then there is a little cut piece right here where you can round these tips so you just square them in and punch out so that it's round I'll tag that video in the description. Um, it's a much better instructional. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Just playing. Now I didn't distress the other one. Um, I don't know if I should or not. But see this point right here? I don't necessarily like that. And what I usually do is cut that out. So, um, let me find something. side edge here so you can see it. Okay. and then this here is my point so what do you think should I distress the edges maybe I'll do it to this one yeah the distressing is going to be good I'm using kind of a heavy edge because the brown is so dark. So. And don't worry, I'll fast forward through this. You won't have to sit through all of it. <laughs> I know your tolerance. <laughs> And this one is already glued. Okay, so now what am I going to do with the rest of it? So the distressing gives me a nice little framework to work within. Now I've got um, a lot. 
lot of pattern going on in here. So I think I need to work, which is why I kind of pulled these, because I was expecting the other color, you know, to be my pattern. But I think what I might want to do is glue and then tear so I have a little white edge like a little border that I can distress and use some cheesecloth underneath it for the lace I'm going to have to play with one first to see. And then I have my ribbons. Um, I don't know what else I have that I can find close at hand that I can make, you know, into something that's a little more Christmassy. But let's go ahead and get this glued down so I can kind of fussy tear around it. So see how it gives me that little white border where the paper kind of separates? I like that look. But you always have to kind of tear towards yourself to get that extra little white edge. Then you think I should like cut out something that says Merry Christmas? Tear this one. So again, I'm tearing towards myself so that I get that little white border.
So, and I got two for each envelope now. <laughs> and then I still have these that I can play with on whatever I insert. So now I think I want to distress these too. So I'm going to have the darker color on the very outer edge of the white. I'm not going to cover up all of the white. So that way when I put it down, it's got like a little outline. And this is just wax paper so that my fingers don't get all stuck to what I'm working on and lift it back up because nothing really sticks to wax paper or at least for very long or very well. So now that that's stuck down I can actually glue this. I think we'll let that sit. Let me ponder that for a moment and play with the other couple.
Welcome back. Of course, you don't know that you were gone. <laughs> My battery died. And um, so last night, once it died, uh, of course, I had to charge it before I could record more. So I just kept uh, creating. And let me show you kind of where we left off. So I have my three envelopes and I think I was gluing on these uh, clip art that I had torn and distressed. Um, what I did is I put down cheesecloth and then the image and then a little more cheesecloth and some little appliques um, that I got from Kelly's shop. This one was much brighter but I tamped it down with um, the walnut stain and it kind of brought it down and matched the pink really nice that, that I've been working with on the, the clip arts. But I did the same for all three. Um, this one I had used the lighter cheesecloth, but I used the darker behind the applique. And remember the other pieces that I had kind of put together to put on the back side? I didn't use them. Um, what I did is I just kind of duplicated the image. So I have this little um, circle piece that, you know, kind of holds the tip. And that way it will hold it closed without sealing it. And I actually did that for all three. So I have one back here and I have one back here. So what I was going to do is probably put a button on each one. So I, I brought out my button so I can kind of go through a few of them. Hopefully I can find a couple fairly quickly. But before I do that, let me show you what else I did. Because I didn't feel right not putting something in the envelopes. So what I did with those extra pieces is I just made a card. You know, it's blank inside. Um, I didn't do a whole lot with it. I just didn't feel right not putting something inside the card. So these are just kind of coordinating. They're not exact. Um, and I didn't do this one yet, so we can do that together. Um, but I do want to find some buttons so I can get this off my desk. So as far as buttons are concerned, um, I guess it really kind of depends on, you know, what colors I find. Um, I have a lot of buttons. Um, well, that was quick. So no matter what button I find, it, it probably will coordinate with all three of these. Um, well, there's a few of those. I don't know if I want to use the same one left. So this kind of too much paint and that I think that's the one. Alright, let's put these aside. So anyway, with the buttons, I think that I'll finally be done. I might um, attach a charm to them, but you know, it's kind of like a journal, you know, you have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys mind when I kind of cut it apart and, you know, do that editing? I don't know if you like that or if you don't like that. I personally like to see, you know, what goes into the making of, but sometimes they can get kind of long, which is what I like. I think I already said that I like to have, you know, videos a little bit longer because usually I'm playing them when I'm crafting, but lately, you know, I've been recording while I'm crafting, so... So this blue one went here, this brown one, went there, 
and the pink one right there. Okay, now I just gotta let these little buggers dry. And while that's going on, let's go ahead and do this card. So this is just a piece of um, cardstock, you know, the craft paper cardstock. This here was um, from an invitation set. Um, they were extra cards. And then this, you saw how I kind of did the cut and paste and I tore them and then just distressed them. Um, but just to keep it a little more interesting, I have little bits of gauze or the cheesecloth rather um, behind. So I'm going to do that. It's just a matter of kind of arranging it a little bit. Put it kind of right on the edge. So now I'm just going to put this in my book. I use this book for flattening. <laughs> I also use it for the text too because um, it's a safe text. There's not going to be any, you know, dialogue with bad words in this book. It's not going to offend anybody and its content. <laughs> it's the story of maps. So, <laughs> but yeah, I just have it tucked in here. And actually put upside down. So now we'll just leave it set to the side for a few. And when everything is dry, I'll come back with a little slideshow for everybody. But we're done. I finished. So yeah. So we've got vintage, shabby, Christmas in July. Yay. Alrighty. We'll see you in a minute.